Quinton Keller asks, could Martin Jones actually be Toronto's answer in net? Do you see them grabbing someone else in case Wall doesn't end up being the answer post-injury? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. Um, I don't think Jones is the answer. I think it's one of those anybody can get hot for a stretch. And the Leafs have played some pretty bad teams lately too. So some of Martin Jones' wins have been against sort of pushover opponents in that Pacific division. And I just think, you know, we've seen – a massive sample size for Martin Jones. He's a veteran. We've seen enough of him at this point to know he's not going to suddenly become a Vezina Trophy caliber goaltender, even though his numbers are really good right now. He is a pro's pro, and this is exactly why the Leafs brought him in. They knew that in the modern game, goalies get hurt more than ever, and he's a great number three to come in, and he can hold things down for a, a little stretch, which is exactly what he's doing right now. Um, but I don't think I'm – I'm just not that worried about Joseph Wall's timeline. I don't think there's been any indication that this is a season-ending injury or that it's even going to keep him out for the stretch run or the playoffs, anything anything like that. I think he'll be back with more than enough time to get himself reestablished for the stretch run. So I think it's still going to be – whether it's Wall and Jones or if Samsonov figures things out in the minors, comes back, and it's Wall Samsonov, we'll see. But I still think Wall's going to be the guy. Uh, if something changes with that timeline, if Wall has a setback – then sure, I think I could see Bradford Living making a move to bring in more help in net. But I just don't see any scenario in which, you know, Martin Jones is taking over down the stretch and is your starter. Unless he just, if he goes on an insane run and wins 10 starts in a row, something crazy like that, fair. But I don't see that happening. I think it just, he's he's sort of beating up on a lot of easy teams right now. And as we record this, he gets to play San Jose again, second, second time in a row. So he's kind of just feeling it right now against some bad teams. But it's been a nice run. I really don't like what they're doing Phil to be here. And a lot of people said like he was the guy they should call up. And I'm like, no, because they're not going to play him. And they haven't. He hasn't played a game yet. He's been kind of sitting there. And that seems odd to me. Like Petrozelli could have held that role and you continue to get those yes. opportunities. Granted, you know, the Marlies haven't played a ton of games recently. But still, like, I, I, I guess they're viewing the being there and being part of the, the practices and seeing the games up close is more important, but I don't know. It just seems like you want them to play, right? Like that's, that one's odd to me, but uh, yeah. I agree. Know. And I want to give a shout out to my, my British neighbor, David, who had never lived in Canada before. Uh, and he's learning about hockey through me. Like whenever we talk over the fence and we're taking out our garbage, he's like, I wanted to try a Marley's game. Could you tell me where to sit? And I showed him where, where the, where to sit. And he, he like sent me pictures from the game, and he was like, "That that keeper Hildeby, he seems really talented. I think he's great. What do you think, Matt?" And I was like, "Oh, good eye, David." And I told him like last week, I'm like, "David, your guy Hildeby, he's been called up." And he's like, "Oh, it's brilliant. That it's brilliant." But then Hildeby's not playing, so I'm sorry, David. You do have a good eye for talent. <laughs> 